Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center. Hafide Guahusi Nurse Jen. Fiber is found naturally in plant foods including beans, nuts, grains, fruits, and vegetables. These are referred to as dietary fiber. Although our bodies do not fully digest dietary fiber, it has an important role in keeping our bodies healthy. Everyone should have a meal plan that includes lots and lots of dietary fiber. If you don't, I encourage you to make a fiber meal plan today. Research shows that the majority of people only get about half the recommended fiber intake each day. And this is a problem because fiber is essential as it ultimately contributes to your wellness. Fiber lowers cholesterol levels. Eating beans, oats, barley, and nuts helps to protect your heart against heart disease by lowering your cholesterol level. Fiber also helps control diabetic blood sugar levels and could lower your risk for certain types of cancers, such as colorectal and gastrointestinal cancer. It's because fiber in whole grain foods and vegetables help prevent constipation by adding bulk and helping waste products move through the body, ultimately lowering your risk of getting hemorrhoids also. For people who suffer frequent diarrhea with irritable bowel syndrome, the fiber found in beans, lentils, and oats, and some fruits and veggies may also be helpful. Certain types of fiber also help to increase the healthy bacteria in your digestive tract, which is a win-win. And finally, increasing your fiber intake is an excellent way to manage your weight. Eating plenty of foods that contain fiber, such as fruits, veggies, and whole grains, helps fill up your belly. Fiber also makes you feel full longer, so you eat less over time. A fiber-rich diet plan is lower in calories, promotes a healthy bowel system, and can help you lose or maintain weight. Guru Fiber enthusiasts recommend, if you're new to the fiber game, to please start slow at first. Adding lots of fiber to your meal plan too quickly could lead to lots of gas, flatulence, and bloating. So start slow until your system is able to process it. Also, the gurus recommend that you increase your water intake whenever you add more fiber to your diet. Water is the key to helping your body move the fiber more freely through the digestive tract. And finally, should you or shouldn't you consume fiber rich supplements such as powders, pills, wafers, or tablets. This is a discussion to be with your physician as it's dependent on all the other prescriptions you're already taking. Happy holidays, I'm Jen Artero, registered nurse, reminding you, don't wreck yourself, help check yourself. Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center.